Now we are going to solve the problem in ratio. Uh, the remaining property, the ratio may be treated as property or rules. The ratio may be treated as fraction. 2 is to 3 is equal to 2 by 3. So you have to convert the ratio into fraction. That is what 2 by 3. Okay. Now we are going to see the uh, problems. Now we are going to solve the problem. First question, there are 20 girls and 15 boys in a class. What is the ratio of number of girls to the number of boys? Solution, so ratio of number of girls to the number of boys. Okay, question is there are 20 girls and 15 boys in a class. So how many girls? 20 girls and 15 boys in the class. What is the ratio of number of girls? What is the ratio of number of girls to the number of boys? So ratio of number of girls to the number of boys. Ratio of number of girls to the number of. We have to compare the girls and boys ratio. So we have to find out the question is what is the ratio of number of girls to the number of boys? So ratio of girls that is they, we will find out the what is the ratio of number of girls to the number of we have to compare the number of girls and number of boys ratio then so ratio of number of girls to the number of boys so how many bo girls 20 girls so 20 is divided by so that means ratio means i have told you the comparison of division is called what comparison of division is called ratio so how many girls 20 girls and 15 boys so that is 20 is divided by 15 so you have to simplify this what division otherwise you can call it as a fraction so 20 is divided by if you take the uh, if you want to simplify this number if you want to simplify these two numbers so you have to take it as a what uh, common number you have to take it as a common number that means 20 is divided by 5 15 is also divided by 5 if that means the numerator is divided by 5 the denominator is also divided by 5 so you have you must take the common divisor so 20 is divided by 5 you can get 4 and 15 is divided by sorry 20 is divided by 5 you can get 4 15 is divided by 5 you can get 3 so you can get 4 by 3 so the ratio is 4 is to 3 i'll repeat once again this only solution we have to find out what is the ratio of number of girls to the number of boys so solution is ratio of numbers number of girls ratio of number of girls to the number of boys we have to compare the girls and boys ratio so we have to compare the number of girls first and number of boys and we have to find out the what ratio of the boys and ratio of the girls that we have to compare so i have told you what is uh, ratio com that is comparison of division okay comparison of division is called as what is this ratio so 20 is number of girls and divided by number of boys is 15 number of girls is 20 number of boys is 15 20 is divided by 15 you can get what 4 by 3 how could you get 4 by 3 because 20 is divided by 15 first you have to write that means comparison okay comparison of a comparison of division comparison of division is called as ratio that is 20 number of girls and 15 number of boys 20 is divided by 5 this is called as a what division or fraction so you have to simplify this what division that is to simplify the numerator as well as the denominator so you have to take a common divisor this 20 is divided by 5 you can get 4 and 15 is divided by 5 you can get 3 so 4 by 3 fraction so 4 by 3 fraction means i've told you already ratio may be treated as a fraction so this fraction is converted into fraction 4 is to 3 this is called as ratio 4 is to 3 that is 4 uh, that is 4 is to 3 this is girls and this is what boys so 4 is to 3 ratio that is what we find out second question find the ratio of the following first question ratio of 30 minutes to 45 minutes we have to find out the what ratio of 30 minutes to 45 minutes so 30 first we have to ratio means first we have to write the question into division form 30 divided by 45 so 30 is divided by 45 it is division form as well as a fraction form so 30 divided by 45 after that you have to simplify this number that means you have to take a common divisor that means the numerator as well as the denominator is divided by the common divisor by 5 so 30 is divided by 5 you can get 6 and 45 is divided by 5 you can get 9 again you have to simplify so again you must take a common divisor for both numbers 6 is divided by 3 you can get 2 9 is divided by 3 you can get 3 2 by 3 fraction so fraction is treated as a ratio or ratio is treated as a fraction this is what ratio may be treated as fraction or fraction may be treated as ratio so 2 by 3 means you can write 2 is to 3 so this is the answer for this question
2 is to 3 ratio and this question 4 is to 3 is the ratio for this question. And second question 55 pays to rupees 1. So you have to find out the ratio for this question 100 pays is equal to rupees 1. 100 pays is equal to rupees 1. We have to find out for the 55 pays to 1 rupee. So 55 is divided by 100 because first I have told you already you have to convert if the unit is different means you have to convert into same unit. Here 55 pays here rupees. So this rupees is converted into pays. So 1 rupees is equal to 100 pays. So 55 divided by 100 first you have to write it as a what division form so compare comparative of division comparison of division is called ratio so 55 is divided by 100 55 is divided by 100 it is a fraction form otherwise we can call it as a division form so 55 divided by 100 so you have to simplify this what simplify this term so sim simplify this fraction so you have to take a common divisor 55 is divided by 5 you can get 11 100 is divided by 5 you can get 20 so 11 by 20 is a fraction so here after you can't what simplify so you have to write 11 is to 20 this is the ratio okay 11 is to 20 is a ratio for this question i think so you understand the basic concept of ratio